Ever wondered about the stories behind the world's greatest wonders? Well, wonder no more. Welcome to a fascinating journey through time and space, where we'll delve into the intriguing tales behind the world's most breathtaking marvels. So what makes a wonder a wonder? Is it grandeur? Is it the complexity of design? Or is it the sheer audacity of human ambition? The answer is all of the above and more. To qualify as a wonder, a structure or natural phenomenon must not only be visually stunning but also possess a rich history and be a triumph of human ingenuity. Our criteria for choosing the top 10 wonders are multidimensional. We consider factors such as historical significance, architectural prowess, and cultural impact. But above all, each wonder must tell a story, a story of human aspiration, resilience, and achievement. From the sun-soaked pyramids of Giza to the lush hanging gardens of Babylon, from the mighty statue of Zeus at Olympia to the ethereal temple of Artemis at Ephesus, these wonders are testament to our ancestors' remarkable vision and tenacity. They remind us of a time when human ambition knew no bounds, when we dared to dream bigger, build higher, and reach further. But our journey doesn't end with the ancient world. We'll also explore the wonders of the modern world, marvels that showcase human progress and our ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. From towering skyscrapers to sprawling bridges spanning mighty rivers, these modern wonders are as awe-inspiring as their ancient counterparts. So buckle up, history enthusiasts, and prepare for a thrilling ride. We're about to traverse the sands of time, scale the heights of human achievement, and dive deep into the stories behind these spectacular wonders. Join us as we embark on a journey through time, exploring the world's most magnificent wonders. Our first stop takes us back to the ancient land of Egypt. Here we find the Great Pyramid of Giza, a colossal structure that stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians. The pyramid, built during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu over 4,000 years ago, has long been a subject of both awe and mystery. Considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Great Pyramid of Giza was the tallest man-made structure for over 3,800 years, soaring at a staggering height of approximately 481 feet. It's estimated that around 2.5 million blocks of stone, each weighing an average of 2.5 tons, were used in its construction. Think about that for a moment. That's an incredible feat of human ingenuity and labor. But the pyramid is not just a marvel of engineering. It's also a monument steeped in history and symbolism. It was designed as a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu, a ruler of Egypt's fourth dynasty, and was part of a larger complex that included two other pyramids, temples, and a causeway. The construction of the Great Pyramid has puzzled historians and archaeologists for centuries. Despite numerous theories, the exact method of its construction remains a mystery. Some propose that a large workforce of laborers dragged the stone blocks on sleds. Others suggest that the blocks were lifted into place using a system of ramps. Yet, despite the many theories, the truth remains elusive. And therein lies the fascination with the Great Pyramid of Giza. It's not just an architectural marvel. It's a riddle wrapped in an enigma, a testament to the capabilities of an ancient civilization that continues to astound us to this day. The Great Pyramid of Giza, a testament to human ingenuity that has stood the test of time. Next, we venture into the legendary city of Babylon. Our journey takes us to the fabled Hanging Gardens of Babylon, an ancient wonder that continues to captivate our imaginations. Imagine, if you will, a breathtaking spectacle of lush greenery cascading down in tears, a verdant oasis amidst the sun-baked desert. The Hanging Gardens were said to be a marvel of engineering and beauty. Picture towering walls laden with exotic flora, intertwining vines and vibrant flowers, punctuated by the gentle trickle of water from elevated fountains. This lush paradise was supposedly constructed by the Babylonian king, Nebuchadnezzar II, around 600 years before the Common Era. Legend has it that the gardens were a gift to his wife, Amidus, who longed for the verdant hills of her home in Media. Yet the hanging gardens of Babylon are shrouded in mystery. Despite the vivid descriptions from ancient texts, no definitive archaeological evidence of the gardens has ever been found. Some historians even question their existence, suggesting they may have been a figment of Greek and Roman imagination. This lack of concrete proof has led to a myriad of theories and speculation, only adding to the allure of this ancient wonder. The hanging gardens weren't just a symbol of beauty and grandeur. They were also a testament to the remarkable innovation and engineering prowess of the ancient Babylonians. The gardens were said to have used an intricate irrigation system 
a feat that would have been extraordinary for the time. This allowed the gardens to thrive in an arid environment, defying the natural constraints of the desert. Despite their uncertain existence, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon have left an indelible mark on human culture. They have inspired countless works of art and literature and continue to fuel our fascination with the ancient world. Whether they were real or merely a myth, the Hanging Gardens stand as a symbol of humanity's desire to create beauty and conquer nature's challenges. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, a wonder that continues to mystify us today. Now we journey to the heart of ancient Greece. Our next stop on this grand tour of the world's wonders is the Statue of Zeus at Olympia. This was no ordinary statue. Standing at an impressive 40 feet tall, it was a marvel of the ancient world, a testament to the skill and imagination of its creator and the awe-inspiring power of the god it represented. The statue was crafted by the renowned Greek sculptor Phidias. This wasn't his first project of such magnitude as he had previously worked on the Parthenon, yet the statue of Zeus was considered his masterpiece. Constructed in the 5th century BCE, the statue was made of ivory plates and gold panels over a wooden framework. Zeus sat on a magnificent throne of cedar wood adorned with precious stones, ebony, and ivory. But this statue wasn't just about physical grandeur, it was a symbol, a representation of the mighty Zeus, king of the Greek gods. Seated on his throne, Zeus held a figure of Nike, the goddess of victory, in his right hand and a scepter, adorned with an eagle, in his left. His head was crowned with a wreath of olive sprays, a sign of peace and victory. The statue was so awe-inspiring that it was said to have made those who saw it feel that they were in the presence of the divine. Despite its grandeur and symbolic importance, the statue's existence was not eternal. After over eight centuries, the statue was lost to the ravages of time. It is believed to have been destroyed in a fire in the 5th century CE. Today, all that remains are descriptions and representations from ancient texts and coins, yet, even in its absence, the statue of Zeus remains a symbol of the majesty and power of the ancient Greek gods. Its memory continues to inspire, reminding us of a time when gods and heroes walked the earth and mankind dared to reach for the divine. The statue of Zeus at Olympia, a symbol of the power and majesty of the ancient Greek gods. Let's traverse to the ancient city of Ephesus. Nestled in what is now modern-day Turkey, Ephesus was home to one of the most awe-inspiring structures of the ancient world, the Temple of Artemis. This grand temple, dedicated to Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, wild animals, and the wilderness, was more than just a place of worship. It was a symbol of the rich cultural tapestry of the time, a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Greeks, and a beacon of civilization in an era defined by exploration and discovery. Imagine a structure that, in its prime, boasted over 127 marble pillars, each towering at nearly 60 feet high. It was adorned with fine sculptures crafted by the most skilled artisans of the time, and its vastness could be seen from miles away, making it an unmistakable landmark. However, the Temple of Artemis was not immune to the ravages of time and human conflict. It faced destruction, not once, but twice. The first time was in the 7th century BC, when a flood devastated the structure. Undeterred, the Ephesians rebuilt the temple, making it even grander than before. The second time, in the mid-4th century BC, it fell victim to arson. A man named Herostratus, seeking fame at any cost, set fire to the temple. But from its ashes, the Temple of Artemis rose again, regaining its glory and standing as a testament to human resilience and architectural brilliance. Despite its eventual decline and disappearance in the face of repeated invasions and plunder, the Temple of Artemis leaves behind a legacy that extends beyond its physical remnants. It continues to inspire architects and historians with its grandeur and reminds us of the remarkable capabilities of the human spirit when it comes to creating monumental structures dedicated to the divine. The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, a marvel of architecture and a symbol of devotion. Our journey leads us next to the ancient city of Halicarnassus. Nestled on the azure coast of what is now modern-day Turkey, this city was once home to a marvel that etched its name in the annals of architectural ingenuity, the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. The mausoleum was not just a burial monument, it was an epitome of art and culture, an amalgamation of Greek, Egyptian, and Lycian architectural styles. Its unique design was the brainchild of four of the most celebrated Greek architects of the time, each contributing to a different part of the colossal structure. The result was a breathtaking edifice, 
a 45 meters high structure adorned with intricate reliefs and statues, all narrating tales of mythology and valor. But who was this grand monument built for? The man at the heart of this architectural masterpiece was Mausolus, a Persian satrap who ruled Halicarnassus and its surrounding regions in the 4th century BC. Mausolus was a visionary, a man who dreamt of making Halicarnassus a cultural and political hotspot. He certainly succeeded, and his legacy was immortalized in stone through this grand mausoleum. What's fascinating is that the mausoleum was not only a tribute to Mausolus but also a token of love. His grief-stricken widow, Artemisia, commissioned the construction of this monument as an ode to her departed husband. It was her dedication and love that brought to life an edifice that would later inspire countless architectural designs. The influence of the mausoleum at Halicarnassus can be seen in several iconic structures that followed. The design of the mausoleum was so revolutionary that it lent its name to all grand tombs built henceforth. From the tomb of Augustus in Rome to the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., the essence of the mausoleum can be traced in these and many other landmarks around the world. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus, a testament to love and artistic brilliance. This wonder may have crumbled to ruins over time, but its legacy lives on, reminding us of an era when love, art, and architecture converged to create a marvel that stood the test of time. We sail next to the island of Rhodes. Here in the sun-kissed Aegean Sea once stood a marvel of the ancient world, the Colossus of Rhodes. This titan wasn't merely a statue, it was a symbol of triumph, a beacon of human ambition, and a testament to the power of unity and resilience. The Colossus was born from the spoils of war. After successfully defending their city against a massive siege, the Rhodians sold the abandoned equipment of their defeated foes. The proceeds funded the construction of a statue, not just any statue, but a giant that would stand guard at their harbor. The man behind this grand vision was Chares of Lindos, a local sculptor who dared to dream big, quite literally. Imagine a bronze giant towering over you at a staggering height of over 100 feet, that's roughly equivalent to a modern nine-story building. The Colossus was depicted in a traditional Greek style, nude, wearing a crown, and holding a torch aloft. It was a sight to behold, a sight that made Rhodes a must-visit destination for ancient travelers. However, building a statue of this magnitude was no easy feat. It took approximately 12 years, countless man-hours, and an unwavering spirit to bring the Colossus to life. But the Rhodian spirit was indomitable. They toiled and persevered, and their efforts bore fruit when the Colossus finally stood tall, a beacon of hope and resilience. Yet, like all great things, the Colossus, too, had a finite existence. Just 56 years after its completion, a devastating earthquake brought the mighty giant down, leaving Rhodes bereft of its guardian. Despite offers to rebuild it, the Rhodians declined, believing it was a sign from the gods. The Colossus of Rhodes now exists only in our imaginations and history books, its fragments long lost to the sea and time. Yet, its legacy endures, reminding us that human ambition and power can create wonders that transcend time. The Colossus of Rhodes, a symbol of human ambition and power. Our final stop in the ancient world takes us to Alexandria. Nestled in Egypt, Alexandria is home to one of the most awe-inspiring wonders of the ancient world. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, also known as the Pharos of Alexandria. A towering testament to human ingenuity, the Lighthouse of Alexandria was not just a monument, but a functional tool that stood as a beacon for travelers and sailors. Its primary purpose was to guide ships into the bustling harbor of Alexandria, one of the busiest ports of the ancient world. Emitting light from a height of over 100 meters, it was a beacon of safety, warding off potential shipwrecks on the city's treacherous coast. The construction of this magnificent structure is as intriguing as its function. Built in the 3rd century BC, the lighthouse was a marvel of engineering, consisting of three stages, a square base, an octagonal middle, and a cylindrical top where the fire burned brightly. It was constructed from large blocks of light-colored stone, and it's believed that a mirror was used to reflect sunlight during the day, while a fire was lit at night. But like all things, the lighthouse of Alexandria wasn't immune to the passage of time. Over the centuries, it faced numerous natural disasters, it was earthquakes, however, that dealt the most significant blows, gradually reducing the once magnificent lighthouse to ruins. By the 14th century, it had disappeared, leaving behind only stories and depictions on coins and murals. Yet despite its eventual destruction, the lighthouse of Alexandria's influence is undeniable. 
It set the standard for all future lighthouses and stands as an enduring symbol of human innovation and progress. It's a testament to our ability to harness our surroundings and create structures that not only serve a practical purpose, but also inspire awe and wonder. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, a beacon of human innovation and progress. Now we fast forward to the present to explore the modern wonders. Our journey begins at the breathtaking Machu Picchu in Peru. Nestled high in the Andes Mountains, this 15th century Inca site was miraculously preserved, hidden from the world until its rediscovery in the early 20th century. Its construction is a testament to the Inca's advanced engineering skills, with terraces cut into the mountainside and buildings meticulously crafted from stone. Machu Picchu stands as an enduring symbol of the Inca civilization's ingenuity and resilience. We then traverse across the globe to the Great Wall of China, an architectural marvel stretching over 13,000 miles. Constructed to protect the Chinese Empire from invasions, it is the world's longest man-made structure. The Great Wall is not just a physical barrier, but also a symbolic one, representing the divide between civilization and wilderness. It reminds us of the length societies will go to protect their people and their way of life. Next, we journey to the ancient city of Petra, Jordan. Known as the Rose City due to its pink sandstone cliffs, Petra is an archaeological and historical wonder. Carved directly into the rock face, it showcases the advanced craftsmanship of the Nabataeans who inhabited this desert region over 2,000 years ago. The city's most iconic structure, al Khazne or the Treasury, stands as a testament to the grandeur of this lost civilization. From the desert, we move to the bustling city of Rome, home to the iconic Colosseum. This colossal amphitheater, built in the first century AD, was the heart of the Roman Empire, hosting gladiatorial contests, public spectacles, and dramas. The Colosseum is a symbol of the Roman Empire's might and sophistication, reminding us of a time when Rome was the center of the world. We then cross the Atlantic to the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, where the Mayan city of Chichen Itza stands. The city is dominated by the imposing El Castillo or the Temple of Kukulkan, a pyramid dedicated to the feathered serpent god. The temple's design is an architectural marvel, aligning with the sun during the equinoxes to create a shadowy serpent descending its steps. Chichen Itza is a testament to the Maya's astronomical knowledge and architectural prowess. Our journey then takes us to Agra, India, home to the Taj Mahal. This stunning white marble mausoleum built by Emperor Shah Jahan for his beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal is an enduring symbol of love and loss. It combines Persian, Islamic, and Indian architectural styles to create a masterpiece that has captivated the world for centuries. The Taj Mahal stands as a reminder of the Mughal Empire's cultural richness and architectural grandeur. Finally, we land in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where the towering Christ the Redeemer statue overlooks the city. Standing atop the Corcovado Mountain, this statue of Jesus Christ with arms outstretched is a symbol of peace and unity. It is not just a religious icon but also a cultural one, representing the warmth and welcoming nature of the Brazilian people. These modern wonders, a testament to human creativity and resilience, continue to inspire awe and admiration. As our journey comes to a close, we reflect on the wonders we've explored. Each of these magnificent structures tells a story of human ingenuity, creativity, and resilience. The Great Pyramid of Giza, our first wonder, still stands as the oldest and most intact of the original seven wonders of the ancient world. Its massive limestone blocks, carefully arranged in a perfect geometric form, reflect a civilization's masterful understanding of architecture and engineering. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, though their existence remains unconfirmed, are a testament to the power of human imagination. Their descriptions have inspired countless artists and writers, painting a vivid picture of lush greenery cascading down multi-tiered terraces, a true oasis in an otherwise arid landscape. The statue of Zeus at Olympia and the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, both now lost to time, were marvels of their era. The former, with its towering form and intricate detailing, personified the divine power of the Greek pantheon. The latter, with its grand columns and intricate friezes, was a tribute to the goddess Artemis, exhibiting the reverence the ancients held for their deities. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus and the Colossus of Rhodes both now exist only in accounts of ancient historians and archaeological remnants. The mausoleum, an architectural wonder, was a symbol of love and power, while the Colossus straddling the harbor of Rhodes was a testament to the grandeur of the Hellenistic period. 
The Lighthouse of Alexandria, despite its demise, continues to inspire modern lighthouses with its design. Its beacon, guiding sailors safely to harbor, stands as a metaphor for human guidance and enlightenment. As we move to the modern wonders, we see a continuation of the human need to create, innovate, and leave a lasting legacy. These structures, from the Great Wall of China to the Sydney Opera House, exhibit the same awe-inspiring scale, technical prowess, and cultural significance as their ancient counterparts. They stand as testaments to the advances in technology and engineering, but also as symbols of cultural identity and human achievement. Each wonder, with its unique characteristics and story, shares a common thread. They represent the pinnacle of human creativity and ambition. They are not merely structures of stone, steel, or concrete, but symbols of our shared history, our collective triumphs, and our boundless potential. The fascination with these wonders endures because they remind us of what we as a species are capable of achieving. They serve as benchmarks of our progress, beacons of our cultural heritage, and inspiration for future generations. The wonders of the world, both ancient and modern, serve as a reminder of our shared history and the limitless potential of human creativity.